Boy Scout boys, I know I don't have the stash. I had to shave it, but I'm bringing it right back. So just bear with me. For six straight years, I made videos with no stash, all right? You'll be okay. Let's focus on the good. Tito is back committing felonies like always. My little fugitive. My little fugitive. And for Halloween this year, I decided to dress up as my favorite doctor, Johnny Sins. I had a plethora of options, actually. Johnny Sins, one of the most accomplished men of our generation. He's a plumber, an astronaut, a teacher, a firefighter. And he even has a medical degree. Tito wanted me to do a little inspecting. Big one in, Tito. Big one in. Big one out. Yep. He's got that dog in him. I agree. There's no cure, Tito. You're just born like that. Hope you guys are having an amazing Halloween. I think I messed up. I think last Wheel of Mud, I was pretending like that episode dropped on Halloween. I was totally had my schedule mixed up. It drops. This is the Halloween episode. And there's a lot to look forward to in this Halloween episode. I think most importantly, it's the NFC Championship. It's kind of hard to top that. Obviously the Super Bowl, right? But some may argue that the NFC Championship is even more important because making it to the Super Bowl is how I get a new prestige player. So before I talk about prestige players, since I don't want to get ahead of myself and talk about a win that I haven't gotten yet, I'd say wide receivers are pretty locked up. Hatbacks are pretty locked up. Michael Vick's a 90 now, so that's amazing. Okoye's a beast. Gates is so good. O-line, dude. So sad. Jason Kelsey didn't get a card. I totally thought he'd get a 90 overall in most feared, but it's okay. I still have faith in that prestige. Miners, Lane Johnson, it's just a good O-line. I would upgrade O-line today if I can. And then on defense, I feel so much better after getting Derwin James. Derwin Minka Troy, Charles Woodson. Really, I could get a D-tackle upgrade where I have an inside stuff D-tackle. Some more legitimate linebackers. And bro, Michael Parsons might be one of the best players in the league. Why is Michael Parsons best card in the game in 87 overall? Like, why do Quinn Miners and Michael Parsons have the same overall card? It, it, like, what? In fact, the the fact that they haven't dropped a mica tells me they definitely have a mica for either thanksgiving or christmas regardless you've got some very important wheel spins to spin big game here boys very big game the thought is texting me stop it's the nfc championship l Ooh, 87 jack i love the jackpot i guess i could Ooh, d tackle we can get any 86 overall player in the game we have to get an inside stuff d tackle pretty sure michael pierce has a most feared card and it gets inside stuff and it's an 87 overall bingo 87 overall michael pierce run stopper d tackle 87 block shed he's a big boy inside stuff 2 ap keep it simple all right first wheel spin keep it simple 87 overall jackpot our next one i'd take an 89 plus o lineman Let's see if that's possible. Ooh, this is only technically, maybe, possibly good. Most feared random scroll. We sort by time remaining. We click on the most feared promo and I start scrolling. So as you can see, there's 84 Dre Greenlaw who wouldn't help me. But then right here is 90 Debo. Sprinkled in here is 92 Tyree Kill, 92 Harold Carmichael. It's gonna take some luck. And I'm gonna shut my eyes. I'm scrolling right now. Three, two, one, stop. Ooh, 84 Curtis Samuel. Darn. Honestly, I really wasn't even close to any of the good ones. There's 92 Trent Williams who would have been insane. But yeah, I would have had to get lucky on that one. Curtis Samuel, welcome to the bench, my friend. Hey, that is not what we need. We need a heater on the NFC Championship. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me something nice. Hey! Open five times OG Mad. This is so dope. So you guys haven't seen, you guys have never seen this, actually. You guys have never seen this. So I can go back to any old Madden where I can still open packs, and I can open five packs. I can choose the best version of one player out of those five packs. Do I go 22 or 21? I'm actually gonna go to Madden 21. I think it'd be more fun to throw it back a little bit further. What do you mean by that? Throw it back a little bit further. What? My only options are Madden 20, Madden 21, and Madden 22, since the servers are down for all other Maddens. I got my 97 overall squad. Wait, what's my team look like? This would have been my, oh, this would have been my ending Wheel of Mutt team. Yep, I have Barry, who is a prestige. I had 99 Adams, 99 Julio. Julio was a prestige. Golden Ticket, Jalen Rager. Gold 99 Burrow, who I also believe was a prestige. No, Dalvin Cook was a prestige, and he was good for a long time, but then Barry outplayed him. This was some of the coolest card art ever. I remember this Aaron Donald, dude. This card art went so hard. All right, enough nostalgia. I can open five packs here, yeah? So, for example, a 92 Devontae Adams just dropped in Madden 23. So if I pull the Devontae Adams in this pack, I could take the 92 Devontae Adams 
on Madden 23. The Game Changer Pack is 581 plus overall elite players. This is the move. Then I don't get any Ultimate Legends. Ooh, I think this is the move. Let's see. All right. First one's a sh Okay, he's got absolutely nothing in 23. Kyle Van Noy doesn't have shit in 23. Joe Hayden doesn't have shit in 23, I don't think. Sam Cock. All right, this was an L. This was an L. We got clutch up here. Ooh, almost. This was the old most feared. This is a legend. John Hanna. Does he have one in this Madden yet? He does not. He does not have a card yet. Javon Hargrave. Doesn't have anything. Ooh, an ultimate legend. He doesn't have one. How do I get two Kyle Van Noys? Are you kidding me? Robert Quinn does have a pretty nasty 87 overall. And he's on the Eagles now, isn't he? Hightower's not going to have anything. McCourty, nothing. His brother's got one. Ooh, my boy Atwater. Can we bring him back? I got too many good safeties. I can't be bringing him back. We do get a zero chill shot pairman. That does not help me. I guess we got to go Ultimate Legends Fantasy. Let's mix it up because that was not it. Josh Allen, back when he was a gold. Wait, does he have a good card? He's got something, right? Josh Allen has a 92. Oh my God, it's from the new drop. He has a 92 overall most feared. Holy shit. Gold Josh Allen just clutched up. That's our best option right now. No question. 92 overall. Garrett Bradbury also has a pretty good card. Garrett Bradbury's got an 87 center. Ultimate Legends Fantasy is clutching up right now. Blake Martinez, Frank Clark. Ooh, that's a team whatever team affinity blake martinez all right josh allen is the move right now it's our second round zeitler does he have one nah he doesn't have anything good allen robinson ricky jackson allen robinson's got an 87 but ain't worth it and then our ultimate legends this would have to be someone like see i don't think he has one i got aiden hutchinson not steve hutchinson and oh actually a nasty pull because there is a 91 Ladanian Tomlinson, but how am I going to compete with my boy Marshawn Lynch? All right, let's do one final Ultimate Legends fan is back, but right now we have an option of a 92 overall Josh Allen, so it's pretty damn good. Big legend. I remember that. Reggie Wayne. He's got a good card. Just don't need it. AJ Dillon. I love that. Leonard Floyd. I love that too. Garyon Conley. None of those are anything crazy, but then I can really use Joe Thomas. Doesn't Joe Thomas have one this year already? Ridley! I'm not going to make the joke. I made the joke so many times, I'm not gonna make the joke, all right? And shit, I might have a DraftKings ad on this video for all I know, so I can't make the joke. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to beat Josh Allen. Our ultimate legend here, now the Asamuga, he does definitely not have, he definitely doesn't have one this year. And oh, Larry Allen, that'd be so sick if there was a Larry Allen, but there isn't. Wow, well, dude, Josh Allen was a big clutch up, and it was his gold left end, which is funny, because in all the Maddens, he's an outside linebacker now. So, we're done with Madden NFL 21. The way that wheel spin worked was I could take the best version of one of the players we pulled. So Josh Allen's got to be the move here. 6'5", 260, 87 speed, 90 XL, 90 block shot. Damn. Micah can stay right outside. Josh Allen can go to left outside. He gets a 3 AP edge threat and he also gets no outsiders. Quicker run sheds against outside zone plays. I'm actually going to use both. I'm going to give him unstoppable force because he's going to be insane. I'm going to take edge threat off of Bruce Smith and I'm just going to let Josh Allen wreak absolute havoc on the edge. We got nothing left to do but play the ball game i really couldn't be more ready 87 overall squad let's go win the nfc championship can't forget my challenge wheel of course i'm gonna let you guys see it like this we're loading into the game at this very moment too this is nerve-wracking what is it what is it what is it Ooh, my qb needs 30 fantasy points i'll calculate that at the end our top three, Josh Allen, Derwin James, DK Metcalf. He's got the new Jalen Ramsey, Delaney Walker, Rod Woodson. This is going to be a ball game, baby. Jay Jetta, start us out hot, baby. Start us out hot. Huh? All right, that wasn't too hot. So 30 fantasy points in my quarterback. I honestly don't remember the exact scoring rules in PPR for quarterbacks. So I will just have to calculate this at the end, but I know rushing yards and rushing touchdowns count just like a running back. So I'll try and put an emphasis on that. Let's see if we can hit Marshawn early. Bro! What was that throw? What was that? What was any of that? That wasn't even his user. What the fuck was that? You literally cannot start. Dude, this is the NFC Championship. We can't have this shit happening. Oh, he's got McCaffrey. This is totally a Niners theme team. Jimmy G, McCaffrey, Trent Williams. We have to stuff him. Why are you chewing clock in the first fucking quarter? Get over yourself. In the first quarter? You can at least have the courtesy to like use chew clock. Now the run play, we're there for this one. Oh my animation. I'm run committing. See if we can get if we can get in there and blow this one up. No. That's so fucked up. Oh, that was all of that was so unbelievably unlucky. We literally have no choice but to now play this game with a seven point handicap. So let's go. Let's see what he comes out in. All right. 
Let's go, boys. Start us out with a heater, Michael Vick. There you go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Can't really tell what this coverage is. Great rollout. Michael Vick's made something out of nothing there. I was literally scared to throw the ball. Gates. Beautiful route, Gates. Nice hard cut. That's just barely there. Not even really at all. Jesus. Third and 12. I really didn't see much there. It's kind of tough to stop five wide if you're not going to play on a linebacker. Let's see if this is actually man or if this is a cover three. That's actually a man, but that means Gates is going to be wide open. What a ball. Let's go. Let's go no huddle. I want to score. What's he got? He's on Hutch. Metcalf. Big boy. Big boy. With no time in the first quarter. Great response touchdown. I'll take the PAT for now. I want to see what this guy can do when he's forced to play a full drive of offense. Not starting at the 10, but a full drive of offense. And nice for the fantasy points on Michael Vick there. The interception should take points away from him though, right? All right. Hey, we're there. We're there. No, no, no. All right, looks like we're looks like we're fighting some demons on today's video. I'm gonna guess pass here and see if we can get some heat. Ah, that's bad, very bad. Love it over the middle, nothing. Jimmy G goes down to Chandler Jones. Nice play. Now we're really guessing pass because he actually has to pass here. Oh shit. Ooh. All right, never mind. He didn't have to pass, but I'm okay with that. I'm not guessing pass anymore. Nice ball. Why are you so slow, Mika? Why does Delaney Walker look like he's at 95 speed? 14 to 7. Just got to go down there and score once again. Vic is fast. This new Michael Vic is fast, bro. Way to get out of that. So the whip route will make its return. That's a beauty right there. Look at beast mode. 7 to 14. This might be a high scoring one, boys. Nothing was open. He's shading outside to try and stop the whip routes. Ooh, what a ball. What a broken tackle. I could shoot clock here, but I want the ball back. Marshawn. Marshawn, no. Fuck. Vic. I need you right then and there. Second and 10. Hey, let's think about this. I think Metcalf or Gates is a very good option here. Not man. Metcalf. Oh, what a catch. Ooh. That was sketchy. That had my heart beating, I think. If he had switched on a little sooner, he could have lurked that. 14 to 14. Here's the problem. He's got three timeouts in a minute, and I don't get the ball at half. So if he scores here and gets the ball at half and then scores again, would be really bad for me. I need to stop the run. I'm going to go 4-3 under. That gives me Shaq Barrett, Micah, Palomalu. All right, perfect, though. I'm not guessing pass anymore. Oh, halfback. Do it, do it, do it. Brr. Shit. All right, I'm just going to be ready for the halfback and then the corner route. Hell of a ball. Got rocked, but that was a nice play. Corner route. I'm on it. Why are you so open? Damn. This guy's having no trouble scoring on me. And he's going to get the ball half. I think if I can throw this route to beast mode twice successfully, we actually could pick this up. Just heaving one. Ooh. I just don't know if I can get as many yards as I need. If he had gone down sooner, I actually could have got that field goal. That interception to start in a game like this, really gonna hurt if I can't get a stop. I gotta turn him over. All right, I feel like this is a run. Beautiful stop. That's why we got inside stop. Michael Pierce, nice work. Kind of feel like he'll actually throw this one. Nice route. Like, why is George Kittle just running around, guys? This is so weird. Hey, fourth and five. That's a deep field goal. Oh. Oh, I'm getting so tilted. How? How did you just walk over three of my guys? Look at this. What is that? And he's chewing clock, dude. I don't really stand a chance at this point. He's going to get to milk the entire third quarter. That one mistake at the start's just going to bite me in the ass. Dude, can I help you? He gets the inside stuff, and he runs right past him, and he has a, a literal... He could have ran for 100 yards right there. He's not really open. That's a hell of a ball. 
Michael Vick's got run and gun activated. We're honestly playing a great game other than our mistake right at the start. And he gets ball at half. It's just a bummer. Ooh, that's not a good ball. You know what? It continues to be a good ball, though. I'm, I'm really about to lose a playoff game to a D-line user. How fucked up is that? I'm looking at Antonio Gates here. I don't think he can... I don't think he can guard that. Yeah. Holy dot! Let's go! I'm really about to play one of my best games and lose. Although, let's not give it up quite yet. Three timeouts, three minutes, 42 seconds left. I don't know why I can't stop him, but I can't stop him. I'm in nickel right now, so this isn't a very good run-stopping defense. So I don't stop the run, that's okay. But there we go. Okay, you're in there. You're in there that time. That's a good start. He's going to be chewing clock. He's been chewing clock since the first quarter. Just in case it's a pass, I want to be ready for it to be a pass. Look at him. Look at Michael Pierce. He's going to go Kittle. But he... No way! Oh, you just threw on my... That's so fucked up. Oh, my God. He was standing right there. My best bet, actually, is to let him score right here. I know this sounds stupid, but letting him score here is my best chance to win this ballgame. It's because I don't let him score there. He can just chew the clock and then kick a field goal. I have to score within about 45 seconds. We just got to move down this field quick. Interesting. You can just, just go ahead and watch that one back. Go ahead and watch that one back. You can let me know what the fuck that was. What, has he got, what, has he got eyes in the back of his fucking skull? Damn, this one was like mega fucked up. My kick return theory is not correct, I can tell you that. I wonder if Michael Vick's got his challenge though, because that's going to be big. Whether I got this with Michael Vick or not is going to be pretty important. I'm going to check the stats here in a sec. I wouldn't mind a rushing touchdown with him though. All right, another touchdown for Vic. Really, the challenge wheel is the most important thing to me now. Let's check the stats. So Vic, 16 for 21, four touchdowns, 274 yards, two interceptions, though. That's going to pull his stats down. And rushing, he's got three yards. That's not going to do much. That's messed up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I hate how those balls go in the dirt. I know it's hard to throw, but they shouldn't go in the dirt. Let's see if I can get the ball back for Michael Vic here. I don't know how to onside kick. Did I just get it? I just got the onside kick. All right. I really would like rushing yards. So fucked. Why does this team feel like it's 99 speed? Is there some ounce of validity to what I'm saying? It's got a QB spy on me now. How the fuck did I miss that throw? Hey, GG to my opponent. This guy was awesome. Even as a D-line user, his offense was unstoppable. I think he scored every time he touched the ball. So it really wouldn't have mattered. I can bitch all I want. But like, dude, look at this. 12 for 13, 251, four touchdowns. He just had a great offense. So Vic's got 274 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. He rushed for seven yards. He didn't get it at about 24. If I had thrown one more touchdown, I might have gotten it. It's not the Cinderella story. Story we were hoping for boys there's our loss in the playoffs that hurts number one normally i would only prestige a player if i made it to the super bowl but this team is way too good to carry into a new season so at the start of next episode will be the brand new season this team will be wiped of everybody except for my current prestige players which is justin jefferson jason kelsey micah parsons and troy palamalu additionally i can prestige one player from this lineup we may not walk away with a Super Bowl ring, but we can carry somebody over. DK is an amazing option. So is Marshawn Lynch. I really did not like Michael Vick. I don't really want to use a lefty quarterback ever again, so I'm all right with that. Antonio Gates, I wasn't the biggest fan of. He was kind of a beast, but I think right now I love the idea of prestiging Okoye. Okoye is a savage, dude. That would be a pretty dope prestige. Get the fully juiced Vanguard Okoye for run plays. That'd be pretty fun. Or on defense, Derwin James would be such an amazing prestige, dude. You know he's going to get a team of the year card. Josh Allen would be a pretty incredible prestige prestige too. Oh, I don't get to keep him anyway. I couldn't even prestige Josh Allen if I wanted to because I lost that game, so I lose him. I don't think anybody else on defense really excites me that much other than Derwin James. Three weeks from now, I want to be back in this seat, but I'm going to have to make some serious defensive adjustments in my game. If somebody can drop 42 on me without even trying that hard, I'm clearly doing something wrong. It was a hell of a season. We did not make the Super Bowl, but I'm proud of how far we went. I'm proud of DK. He was a monster. Marshawn Lynch was so incredible. I'm going to miss him. And uh, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace!